Hello everyone and welcome to a synth ratings video. Today we are doing something a little bit different and taking a look at the newly released Dune 3. So this is not a full rating, just a little video to show you what's new and uh, what's improved and what we like and don't like with the new version of Dune. So let's take a listen to the default patch. Yeah, it's still got that pretty sweet sound, no question about that. And um, let's take a look at the different sections to see what's new. In the oscillator section, there is not much that I can see that is new. We have the same uh, waveforms. Perhaps there is, I think the ramp down is new. We used to have only three waveforms, if I remember correctly, and now we have four. So that is good. Um, we have the wavetable uh, functions here with uh, the same wavetables as before but we have a new button here called edit and a new dial called interpol which i suppose it's interpolation between the waveforms let's go to the init patch and um, take a little look at what those controls do Yeah, it's hard to hear the difference between a ramp up and ramp down waveform. That's for sure. I'm not sure what good that will do. Let's try to ramp it up a little. So that's the normal sawtooth. And this is a ramp down. I can't really hear much of a difference there. Not sure what why that's included. Um, the wavetable options are more interesting. <laughs> Um, let's see if the interpolation button or knob does anything. Yeah, it's clear that the interpolation um, turned down means that the transitions between the waveforms are much harsher. So no real smoothing going on there. If we turn this up, I suppose we will hear a more smooth uh, transition. Indeed. So that's new in Dune 3, and that's uh, a nice option to have. I think this was default on maximum in the old version. You couldn't have these stepped uh, transitions. Let's try it with a different wavetable and see if we can get even more interesting effects out of this. Interpolation to full. Yeah, it's quite a big difference and uh, that's new and I think that's something that you will get some interesting usage out of. Another thing that's new is of course the wavetable editor. So let's edit that. You can click at all the different waves here like we recognize from uh, this menu here. These are the 16 waves in that wavetable. So let's edit those. You have the same 16 ones over here, I think. Um, you can have a lot more than 16 waves here. You can have up to 200, I've heard, but uh, I haven't tried that out myself. And you can also uh, just put in some presets here to change your wavetable. So um, that's one way to make quick wavetables. So now I have completely different waves in tw uh, slots 12 and 16. You can also draw here, creating different waves. And you can see the little preview down here shows you um, what's going on. And this will also be shown then in the waveform um, preview here in the oscillator section itself, which is very cool. So this is my new wave now. Very nice. And uh, you can copy and paste stuff here. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Is this somewhere to... Can I do like formulas here? Uh, I haven't tried. Seems like that works. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know what you can put in here, but it seems like you can make mathematical formulas into waves. And that is very cool. Uh, you can draw different shapes like straight lines, or I guess this is curves. Yeah, that's right. And, oh, you have a sort of step mode here. That's cool. Also, this is uh, some bitwise operators or something, I guess. Yeah, you can make very cool waves with this, that's for sure. Though I'm, <laughs> I haven't read the manual yet, so don't shoot me if I got this all wrong. You can also zoom... And yeah, 
lots of different options here. You can also import uh, samples or other wavetables here. So lots of stuff you can do. Very nice. Much appreciate this feature. It will bring a lot more Sonic capabilities to Dune. Right, let's move on to Oscillator 2. It's the same one, and no need to talk about that in particular. We have the FM modes. Still only two algorithms, which I'm a bit disappointed about. Uh, that was one of my complaints for Dune 2, but um, I guess those algorithms are tried and tested and they work, but I would like to see some more algorithms when you update a synth. Oscillator 3 was very basic in the last version, and it still is. It's exactly the same as it was in Dune 2, as far as I can tell. I'm not sure we had this white and pink uh, buttons for the noise generator. I don't think we did, so that's a new thing as well. If we turn the noise source up, you can do pink, which has a different kind of darker quality to it. So that's news as well. Uh, the mixer itself looks exactly the same as it was before, so no need to talk about that. Um, yeah, let's uh, do something with this. Another thing that's new in Dune 3 is the swarm mode, so let's check that out. Here's the init patch, and uh, it's a new option in the tuning menu. I'll set it to swarm, which is supposed to give some super saw type sounds. Yeah, I can certainly hear that giving an improvement. Here's the normal one, which you have from Dune 2. And here's the swarm mode again. It just gives a subtle kind of extra spread to the sound, which I like. Moving on to the filter section, we have uh, quite a few improvements here. As you can see, there are now two filters. The filter effect slot is still here because Dune 3 is patch compatible with Dune 2. So in order to load old Dune 2 patches, uh, they had to keep the filter effects section somehow. So they moved it down here. You can uh, add some effects. It's not the same menu as it used to be before. Uh, they have moved the um, distortion plus filters away. I'm not sure how that's going to work with the patch compatibility, I guess we'll see. And there are also some new stuff in here as well. I don't think we had the Formant or Wowl, for example, before. So that's very nice, uh, I think. Um, the filters themselves are uh, also expanded. You have a lot more filter options these days than you had in Dune 2. So you have um, several analog models which are new, and the uh, brick wall is new as well. And um, the sound key, I think, is new, which is awesome. I love a good sound key filter, I do. Uh, um, due to the fact that you now have two filters, uh, you also have some new routing options. Meaning you can route filter one into the filter effects and then the filter two, or you can have both filters in parallel and then feed them both into the effects uh, filter effects slot. Uh, so you have some new options here, which is very nice to have. More flexibility for making sounds means better sounds and more varied sounds, of course. Uh, envelopes seems to be uh, as they were before. Nothing new here. Um, on the top right, we have some new, uh, or we have at least a new look. Um, you can still increase the amount of voices, spread them out, detune. I don't see anything particularly new here. Um, they've moved this little control down a little bit. Um, one new thing here is that you have a button for the arpeggiator 2, because we have two arpeggiators now in the synth instead of just one. So I guess that means that you can have one arpeggiator going on one of your voices and another one going on another voice. So if we try to test that quickly, um, let's enable the arp for this. Uh, let's copy the voice to voice number two and enable. So now I have arpeggiator one going on voice one. And for voice two. Yeah, and let's uh, make this over a couple of octaves. So now you can clearly, clearly hear the difference. So if I put both of them together now, 
I have two ARPs going. Okay, reduce this to two. So you can hear the two ARPs going on at the same time. So this will make it possible to make more complex uh, moving multi-arpeggiated patches. Another thing you should note in the middle here is that you have on um, the main uh, panel you have a new type of skin control. The skin control was there before but it didn't do this because now it changes the size of the GUI itself which was something you couldn't do in Dune 2 and that is a great way to future-proof the synth towards um, better displays coming in the future. So that's a great thing to see. Other than that, you can now change patches with the keyboard, everyone. So just up and down arrows on the keyboard changes the presets around, and that's great. I love that. Uh, you can see I'm using the demo here. I didn't invest in the synth yet. I probably will upgrade at some point, but um, Synapse Audio is good at giving new versions of their synths over time, so I might hold off upgrading until they have uh it has become a little bit more stable and stuff I i'm not sure we'll see how tempted i am uh, the demo version comes with uh only a few more patches than dune 2 but the full version of dune 3 will have 500 new patches so that is um, a good bonus um are there any other things that are new? Yes, there are. You have these buttons down here. They have moved them from the central panel where they were before. Um, you have the same two effects buses as before, but they have put in a lot more effects um, types than before. And notably, the equalizers have gone through a major overhaul. And this is now... Um, st it's stated on the website for Dune 3 that this is technology from the GQ7 rack extension, which is a, an equalizer that is in a rack extension format. So if you're not using Reason, you're not probably familiar with that, but it is a really good EQ and it, in the Reason community it is uh, considered the finest graphical EQ available, probably. So this is a major step up from the old equalizer in Dune 2, no question about that. Yeah, that equalizer is going to be a massive improvement. You have two of those. Um, phasers. Yeah, you have something new here called Super Phaser, for example. Um, there are new algorithms across the board. So that is uh, good. In the reverb section, we have a couple of new algorithms like Shimmer Hall and Shimmer Room. And uh, adding a shimmer reverb to within a synth is something I've never seen before, and uh, it's going to be really cool trying that out. So it's a big improvement as well. Yeah. I like that. We have an opto compressor as well, that is also new. Uh, in the delay section, we have some uh, vintage types and so on that weren't there before. So overall, a couple of new algorithms in every single effect slot. The big bonus with having lots of effects algorithms in the synth itself is um, maybe not so much for your own music production, but for sound designers and people relying on presets, this is very important. You can put really cool effects algorithms into your presets. I think that's the most important stuff. Um, Settings, they seem to be the same as before. The modulation matrix is, as far as I can tell, the same as before as well. Um, you still have these uh, nice audio rate uh, modulation sources, which you can use to uh, to um, create FM and filter FM and so on. Just put the audio rate here. Yeah, uh, still uh, there is no drag and drop of modulation settings here, or no right clicking to set up modulations, which is a big disappointment. Um, I feel overall for Dune 3 it is a 
sonically it is a step forward for sure with the um, new effects the um, second filter and so on uh, for usability it's not mm, that much of an improvement so i would like to see um, arrows to select wavetables for example which i complained about in our dune 2 re review i would also very much like to see some drag and drop or easier ways to set up modulations here in the modulation matrix that remains the biggest uh, weakness i feel of the dune synths so that's something i hope will be improved in the future um yeah that about covers it of course the wavetable editor is a big step forward and um, i think we will uh, see dune cementing its place as one of the top synths uh, going forward with this release although there are still things that could be improved the upgrade price is set at 79 dollars i'm um, that's not quite what I would have liked to see. I would have liked it to be around, say, $49, $59. Then I would upgrade on the spot. At $79, I might hold off a little bit, or at least until my demo runs out. Um, if you are new to the Dune series, I would definitely go directly to Dune 3 for $179, even though it is a bit expensive. Um, it's just worth it over Dune 2, in my personal opinion. So yeah, that's it for uh, that's about it for this uh, first look. Um, take a look for yourself, and uh, I'll get I'll get back to you with a full rating when I have some more experience with the synth. <laughs>